Hey, back with Lisa, we are firing up the grill, showing you that you not only uh, can do dinner on the grill, but why not, you know, grill dessert. Uh, grilling fruits is very, very much on trend. It was a hot thing. All the top chefs were doing it last year at, at their restaurants. You can do it and really wow everybody at home this summer. Um, Lisa is one of the organizers for the Death's Door Barbecue Competition. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. But first, we want to get this pineapple on the grill going, which sounds delicious. It is awesome. It's essentially a caramelized pineapple. Super simple, super quick. Your guests are going to love it. Even people that hate pineapple love this and very impressive looking too. Okay, we're gonna start with a, a sauce, right? Well, what we're gonna do is first, you're gonna take a stick of butter, which is a half cup of butter, okay. throw it in the front into, not a frying pan, throw it into a saucepan, okay. just melt it down. Sure. All right, so we've got, we're using it again. Why not keep it all outside? Keep you've got it all a side outside. Burner. You can also actually just stick this right on the grill. Um, if you've got a, you know, a pan that can take the heat and it'll melt it that way. Okay, so I'll keep an eye on the butter. Then what we're going to coat the pineapple with is a mixture of three quarters cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and an eighth teaspoon of cloves. Should I just mix that all together? Go ahead and mix okay, that so up. Okay, so sugar, cinnamon, and cloves. And then you're going to take your zester and about a teaspoon of lime zest. Okay, and Amy's goes right going in to with the sugar. That. It goes right in with the sugar. That okay. helps brighten up the flavor a little bit. Okay. So you can take a nice ripe pineapple and one of the ways that you can tell that it's ripe is it gets this beautiful golden color to it. The beauty of this recipe is because you're grilling it, if it's not quite ripe, it's still going to work beautifully. And since we're the dairy state, not the pineapple state, <laughs> frequently not quite ripe. Take the top off and then you're just going to cut down the sides to get rid of the wine. You don't have to be really delicate about this, which is another nice thing. You're going to cut down the sides. I have yet to find a use for the rind, but I'm sure somebody out there's got one. <laughs> this lime still smells so Isn't good. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. It's just uh, the most delicious thing and so easy. We're also going to cut the bottom off of this. The other day at one of the grocery stores, I did see a cored pineapple for sale. So if you're really short on time, you may be able to skip this step entirely. Okay. Regardless of how you get there, about half inch thick pieces. And you want to keep them nice and thick because these cook up pretty quickly on the grill and you don't want them to fall apart. That pineapple looks perfect, it really does. Smells fabulous too. Once you get those half inch thick pieces, just take your knife, take the core out of the center because you don't want your guest eating that. Let me go a little bit forward here. See. Another thing we wanted to mention is we really need to clean that grill. So let's say you're doing the baked potatoes and the steak out there on the grill. Um, and it's starting to rain, as you might know <laughs> now. But we're, gonna, we're almost done with this segment. Uh, we want to finish it up. But basically, you want to scrub all that off the grill because you don't want your pineapple well, tasting like you? that. Yep. So we've got our butter got melted got here. Got our butter. So should we dip? How should we do this? Dip it in the butter first. Okay, so pineapple goes both into sides. the butter, both sides into the butter, okay. And Anne, if we had some tongs, that would be fantastic. Okay, there we go. And then you take it from the butter into the sugar, both sides. Okay. Really coat Put it plate nicely. Over there, Anne? For sure. Perfect. Okay, so I think the best way to do this is to kind of throw Absolutely. this on a plate. Yep. So we're gonna coat both sides. And then on the direct heat of the grill, you said a pretty high heat on that grill. Pretty high heat because you want the sugar to caramelize pretty quickly. You want it to get nice oh. and, and uh, it gets bubbly. You know, mm. when that sugar starts to bubble and it starts to smell really good, that's when you're going to turn it over. You do both sides. Oops. Shouldn't take more than eh, five to ten minutes, both sides maximum. And again, yeah. it depends on the heat in your grill. Yeah. Do you serve this with ice cream or anything, or just straight you up? You could, okay. but I serve it straight up. Yum. Oops. Oop, that's right, into the butter. All right, I think what we're gonna do is take a break, and when we come back, I wanna show you how quick this goes. Oh, that's going, it, it smells like it's, oh, amazing. It looks like, like it's doing really well. like you really say, well. it's kind of like, if you don't like, think you don't like pineapple, once you warm it up, it takes it to a whole nother level. So I really think that you should try this. Um, and pineapple is the perfect fruit to do too, because it won't fall through the cracks, it's perfect.